so I just want to show you guys the new logic update. This new update, you got to understand, this new update is a game changer. Your logic pro will never crash on you now, even if you're using like like 32 bit plugins from way back in the day, like most of my plugins are. But like a lot of those 32 bit plugins don't work, they just don't work anymore. But what's been happening is since they don't work, they've been like freezing up logic and then you just lose your session. Like the whole whatever you were doing is just it just falls apart where you got to quit. You got to hope that logic auto saves your session and it's a headache. But but with this new update, the was it 10? I think it's like 10.7.3 it's gonna it, it's ch changed everything so let me show you guys what i'm talking about so i got a beat i made just gonna play it real quick guys can hear that pretty good so with that beat plan like just imagine you're just playing your beat you just made it you're excited you're like yo i'm the next kanye west and then you go to plug in a old plugin so this plugin is resound it's the i think it's called resound loomer or looper i think loomer and it used to be one of my favorite, favorite delay plugins. Like the delay is just perfect. Like if you have an old Intel system and you run this plugin, you will fall in love with this plugin. It's great. But now that I'm on the latest Mac, I'm on the M1 MacBook Air. I was running Big Sur, but I went ahead and upgraded to Monterey. So. I got 32 bit plugins. They, they typically crash logic completely, but not anymore. Watch this. So I'm gonna try to load it up, go to stereo. Bam. So it's saying an audio unit plugin reported problem, which might cause the system become unstable. Please quit and restart logic. So before it wouldn't even give you this recover prompt where it says recover, right? You wouldn't even get that. You would just get, it would just freeze up and you had to quit. Sometimes quit wouldn't even work and you would have to go up here and like force quit logic. It was a pain in the, yeah, it was, it was a, it was rough. So now you can hit recover. And what it'll do is it still won't work, but it kind of, to me, it kind of just freezes that plugin or it kind of like bypasses that plugin where it's like it doesn't exist, it's not active. So you can still even play your beat. And matter of fact, it's kind of crazy. I actually hear the delay. So it's actually working, but it's not working. Like it's, it's working, but it's not working. So that's kind of cool. You can actually even use the plugin, you know, in a way, but you won't be able to adjust the parameters. So basically you can't use 32 bit old plugins, but at least it doesn't crash logic. So all I can, it, once I hit recover, I can just go up here and no plugin and get rid of it. And now I'm back. Now I'm back. So you can't complain about that. That's I am very impressed. And this was just a minor logic pro update. It wasn't like a whole rehaul of logic it was just a little it's mostly a maintenance fixing a little things here and there but that that was clutch i'm thoroughly impressed by apple they they always blow me away so yeah i want i didn't want to make this video too quick i just wanted to show you guys this just in case you're wondering like can i use my plugins or you know what about monterey i'm on monterey right now I only had it for like a day or two. So 
so far most of my plugins work but the super old plugins they don't but at least now you don't have to worry about it crashing logic it's just you just hit recover turn the plugin off and continue working so easy thanks apple <laughs> all right i'm gone